G'day guys, it's Aussie Mark, how you doing? Hey, I came down to the park to shoot another second part of the video of Aussie slang, but, oh, hang on a second, there's a car coming. Yeah, thanks for that, guys. What I wanted to do was um, ask you if you can hear a sound in the background apart from these damn cars. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Wait till this wind drops, uh, sorry, the cars go past and the wind goes down. Listen to the sound of these trees. Listen to this. Those trees there. Can you hear the sound? The amazing that all the dried seed pods. The seeds are obviously loose inside the seed pods and rattling like buggery. I wouldn't want to be living next door to it. Let's get it closer. Can you hear it? stuff that <laughs> so like I said Aussie slang part two oh there's Layla say good day to the people Layla <laughs> yeah righto so what are we gonna do first we're up to H I think holy dooly there's a good one for you to start with holy dooly just means it's like an exclamation mark like when you're totally surprised like holy dooly did you see the size of those melons uh, at the fruit shop, <laughs> yeah, sure, guys. <laughs> uh, an I one. What about in like Flynn? Uh, maybe you guys use that in the states and, and the UK and such. I don't know. In like Flynn? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. When you've uh, had a bit of a success with a young lady. <laughs> now, what about a Jackaroo or a Jillaroo? That's a J. Any idea what they are? Yeah, I bet you do. Jackaroos and Jillaroos are basically young apprentice um, uh, boys and girls who are out on properties. So they're kind of like roustabouts, I suppose, is another word that we use. Jackaroos and Jillaroos. Uh, they help out on cattle stations primarily, mustering horses, mustering cattle, um, just when they're young and just starting out. K. Hey. <laughs> Here's a hint. <coughs> Carket. Carket is a word we use to, or a phrase we use to uh, denote when somebody's actually died. They've carked it. You know, like um, the uh, the old fella down the road carked it after a heart attack. <laughs> okay, we're up to L. How about a larrikin? Uh, use that word at all? I doubt it. That's a real Aussie one. A bit of a larrikin means you're a bit of a, a bit of a lad, bit of a. Um, like to joke around, muck around, like have a good time, a uh, bit cheeky, a bit full of yourself, you know, a bit like, a bit like half of us YouTubers, I guess. <laughs> um, what about M? M, 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 we're just going to do M and N, I think. Um, M, mad as cut snake. There you go, there's a, there's a saying you can use, as mad, mad as a cut snake, he was. I saw this guy and he um, stood on a nail and he was cursing and swearing mad as a cut snake. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a real Aussie one. And finally, I guess we're up to N. And that's going to be my last one for this video. And what about um, nippers? Now, I know you guys probably don't have nippers over in the States or in the UK. It's a real Aussie term. It means, uh, or what it refers to, are uh, young uh, boys and girls, children who are part of the life-saving movement over here in Australia. So they start off early going to training, learning the basics of um, uh, safe swimming, um, resuscitation, they compete in a lot of surf events and uh, that kind of thing. So nippers. Oh, and I'll throw nashos in there just for good measure. Nashos are peop uh, men and women who've served in uh, conscription in the armed services. Uh, not too many of them now because we don't have conscription in Australia, but Nashos are national servicemen, national servicemen and women, uh, particularly in Nam and uh, certainly in other uh, fields of battle. There we go. Okay, I'm out. Catch ya. Bye.